to be a force, we need to join up. We need to pay attention to other genocides as well as that of Bangladesh. That would be the only way for us to have an impact. So I think it's a wonderful beginning, and then we can go. That was very impressive. Um, it was a real honor for me and privilege to meet so many folks um, who uh, hail from Bangladesh. And the, the, the effort that had been received by the uh, students and also uh, the teaching community and the community by itself, I can see many people who came from far distance. So you can see this has definitely has got a point and uh, has created interest. Magnitude, the scale, the tragedy, but some of the uh, background and um, some of the data is new to me, and so uh, this is an important uh, event in order to um, to allow our knowledge to grow about an important uh, problem. Well, I learned a lot more today than I knew before. I was in Chittagong, my first child was born there. Seeing how the Pakistani army cracked down on the civilian populations and killed many innocent civilians. In fact, at one time I was lined up, I would have been dead, but to my luck, there was a sudden attack on those people who lined me up, and that's how I was saved. The speakers were very, very good, very, um, were very articulate, um, very clear. And there was some statistical information I knew, feelings. And I guess that's my observation uh, today. It's appropriate that, of course, folks uh, with a very personal relationship to this event attend, but it would have been, I think, heartening and important for others as well. I think it's 100 percent. Um, uh, appropriate and important that uh, this university uh, offers the course and permits the kind of discussion and in context and by comparison with other genocides as possible and, and this university is well poised for precisely that. And as for refugees and my career with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, which started in 1988, I have seen refugees fleeing countries, the Tamil refugees in Sri Lanka, the Vietnamese refugees in Hong Kong, the Iraqi refugees in Saudi Arabia. These are some of the examples, but they match no way to the exodus that we had in 1971. Straight 10 million people left Bangladesh to save themselves from the atrocities of the Pakistani army and their are the, the, the eyewitnesses were very touching. And I stayed through the whole process. I wanted to hear all of it. Study like this, bringing to records of their activities, will definitely be beneficial for the country's own self and its independence status. These are amazing pictures and, and, and it shows a great deal about what happened. And uh, I hope such seminars will be repeated. And I hope that funding comes to this particular effort so that there can be students who will research on this dig out information that are still there have not been surfaced. And I'm highly impressed already by the support that the president and the dean have already indicated in their But opinion. definitely we need more of this. And you have to sustain it. No man is an island. Everyone is part of the continent. So any man's death diminishes me because I'm involved in mankind. Therefore, do not send to know for whom the bell tolls, it tolls for thee. So that is the humanity and human character that should be that any man's death should diminish everyone. So see the efforts. <laughs>